Exit intent pop-ups are a super effective way to re-engage visitors before they abandon your site. They can boost your conversion rates and increase your sales without disrupting the user experience. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to add a Shopify exit intent pop-up. But first, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Install Optin Monster for Shopify. Optin Monster is hands down the best Shopify app for reducing cart abandonment. So first, head over to optinmonster.com or click the link in the YouTube description for this video to create your account. Now you'll need to sign up for a growth subscription to use the Shopify integration. Be sure to use the discount code I've left in the description for an extra discount on your subscription. After you've set up your Optin Monster account, we'll need to install the Optin Monster app in Shopify. So in the same browser you just set up your Optin Monster account, Open a new browser tab and log into your Shopify account. Search for Optin Monster in the Shopify App Store and click the Install App button. With the Optin Monster plan you just purchased, authentication will be automatic. Step 2 Build your Shopify Exit Intent pop up. Now that you've successfully installed and connected Optin Monster to your Shopify store, the next step is to create your exit pop up. So head back over to the Optin Monster dashboard and click Create New Campaign. Now, the great thing about Optin Monster is that we offer everything from completely designed, ready to use campaigns to a blank canvas that you can customize to your needs. But for today's purposes, I'll select something in between those two options and select a campaign from our template library that offers hundreds of designs that are ready to customize and add display rules. The pop up campaign is selected by default, and that's the type of campaign I want to create, so I'll leave that selected. There are several templates that would work great for our exit pop-up, such as Abandoning Checkout, Apparel, and Flash, to name a few. For today's purposes, I'll select the Checkout template. Next, name your campaign and select your Shopify store from the drop-down. Then, select Start Building. The Campaign Builder is very easy to use, even for beginners. You just click on any element to edit it. For example, select the text to change the message and font style. You can add other elements like countdown timers, images, and even video by dragging the appropriate block from the left pane. You can turn the two-step opt-in on or off in the footer menu. The footer is also where you can toggle between the opt-in view and the success view. Make sure you've customized all the views to your liking before you publish the pop-up. Step 3. Determine where and when to display your exit pop-up on Shopify. Once you have your campaign the way you like it, it's time to set the display rules. Click on the display rules in the header, and then click the drop down to bring up the list of display rules. So, since we want this to be an exit pop up, we'll select Exit Intent under Popular Display Rules. Additionally, you can further refine your display rules by adding rules that apply specifically to Shopify stores. For example, you can limit the exit pop up to only display on the shopping cart page, or based on the items in the cart, to name a few. Next, since we're collecting email addresses with this campaign, you'll need to connect your email service provider. To do so, head over to Integrations. Step 4. Connect your email service provider. Click Add New Integration and select your provider from the menu. Optin Monster integrates with over 30 of the most popular email providers on the market. Many of these integrations simply require entering an API key that can easily be found on your email provider's dashboard. Check out our documentation for complete details on your specific integration. But what if you don't have a provider or you want to create a backup list for added security? For that, you can select Monster Leads from the menu. Monster Leads stores your contacts in your Optin Monster account. Many of our customers connect with their email service provider and Monster Leads at the same time. This sends their leads directly to their email provider so they can automate their email marketing strategy, but they also have a backup list stored with Optin Monster just in case. And before we move on to the final step, let's take a quick peek at the analytics tab for this campaign. Here, Optin Monster will automatically track the revenue this campaign generates, as well as conversions and highest converting pages once we publish this campaign. Step 5. Publish your Shopify exit intent pop-up. And finally, it's time to publish the campaign. When you create a new campaign, it's paused by default and will not appear on your site. The Publish page allows you to do a final review of all the details of your campaign before you publish it to your site. Check the right columns checklist to see if something is missing or may need to be fixed before publishing. If everything looks good, 
click Publish to make your campaign live, and then click Save. So get started with Optin Monster today and start reducing shopping cart abandonment on your Shopify site. Don't forget to use the link and discount code I've provided in the description. Thanks for watching.